So apparently James Charles just got caught again in 4K. I don't know what number of time this is. I don't know how he keeps getting away with this because this same thing's been happening over and over and over again. I swear it seems like every few months this dude is just preying on some straight guy or child. See, I never get this. Like, when you're so successful to this point, couldn't you always just find somebody who would want to be with you? Even if you might get that rare no, nine times out of ten, you're going to find somebody that's going to say yes to you. So what's the point in pestering somebody if they're not feeling you? You're so successful that you could easily jump to somebody else and most likely get with them. It's not like you're desperate when you're this successful. Unless you're just that down bad. Like, especially if... If they're straight like could you imagine if the shoe was on the other foot but I guess as the saying goes a noodle is straight until you get it wet <laughs> I'm sorry that was that was very terrible but to be honest with you guys I, I have to be very real and unbiased when it comes to this situation so pestering pestering is the main thing I want to talk about at the moment because that is the main problem here but pestering can go both ways so let me explain it's kind of messed up that james charles is pestering straight men to basically do things with them and i'm not defending it you know i'm just going to give you guys a real and unbiased opinion on it all right but honestly i kind of feel like we're making a bigger deal of this than we actually need to Gay guy slides in somebody's DMs. Why do I care? I'm not going to hold you. That is his business. He might be weird and he might be pestering other men in their DMs, but this is no different from what other girls have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. The average girl at least gets 20 guys in their DMs trying to obviously what? Make a move and progress into sliding you know he's trying to slide in on the girl you feel me i'm pretty sure there are plenty of influencers that try to slide in on supermodels and and pester them because they don't have any game let's like honestly when people try to get with other people pestering is just a thing that happens sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't would i say it's really ethical would i recommend it no i wouldn't but that's besides the point. So everybody keeps on saying James Charles needs to take accountability this for this and that. But if we're actually looking at the situation for what it is, what is so wrong about this guy sliding in on some guys that he might find attractive, even though they might be straight? My main issue here is, as a straight male, if this dude is in your inbox, right? In no way, shape, or form, if you are straight and you're not a wet noodle, you should not be entertaining this. Women do deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis. Constant guys sliding in their DMs. And guess what? Usually, if they entertain that dude, what is going to happen? We all know damn well what is going to happen. We know what the true intentions are there. If a homosexual slides in your DMs, clearly making their intentions known why would you continue to conversate with this person like look on a down-to-earth level how is this james charles fault honestly i'm not trying to defend the guy i'm not a fan of him i'm just trying to actually be honest here i can't think of how it's his fault he's just sliding in some dms and it's a yes no and they might be straight, but if it seems like it might go somewhere, he's just going to keep doing it. If you don't want him to talk to you, just block him. Girls, on a day-to-day -day basis, put up with guys they don't want to talk to. You know what they do? Ignore. They block. Why is it such a big deal? Why do I care that James Charles is sliding in other guys' DMs? These guys could block them just like what other girls have to do. Are you telling me a girl is more man enough to block somebody that is pestering them, but you as a male cannot do that? Why is this dude not arrested? Why is he not facing any consequences for his actions? Well, it's because what is he doing? He's just DMing somebody and trying to talk to them and initiate in something. DMs might be cringe, DMs might be weird, but that doesn't mean you can just bop the guy. Oh, James Charles is gaslighting this poor guy on FaceTime. Hang up. You don't have to talk to him. Nobody's forcing you to talk to James.
Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I see a lot of people trying to get on James Charles' ass for this, bro. Like, I don't... I don't like this dude. I'm like I don't watch his content. It's not for me. But if I'm being real, I just don't see how you could do that. It's not his problem and it's not his fault. I'm not talking about his past occurrences where I don't know, I guess he talked to somebody under underage. That's not cool at all. That's not all right. But in a situation like this where he's just trying to slide in somebody's DMs, homosexual or heterosexual regardless he just had found you attractive so he's gonna try and make a move maybe it would be different it was different with other guys and if you're a heterosexual and if you're confident enough you would just not associate with the dude i'm sorry james charles i don't want to partake in anything with you say it with your chest bro and <laughs> you just keep it going so pestering is very dumb to deal with, but uh, that's just something that's going to happen when it comes to these relationship building scenarios, but it's always the other person's choice on whether or not they don't want to do it. Now, if anything were to escalate beyond that, like let's say if there's any physical touching or anything of that nature, then yes, that would be a problem, but there's nothing wrong with dude just trying to talk and get a man, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at these texts these leaked dms with him and this straight guy so this dude's post says james getting jealous at a girl i followed frowny face james says i'm trying to see which of my friends are also staying here also who's aaron ponte ha 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 so honored to be the one out of two people you follow dude hearted both of those clearly entertaining james charles and carrying the conversation on despite knowing what his true intentions are because he clearly laid them out to begin with. The oven's hot, but this straight guy continues to touch it. Ha ha ha, she's a girl I'm texting. I find it hard to find people that are actually interesting to talk to. James replies, wow, my competition, eh, I'm cuter. He says, lol, you guys are both great. Lol, you guys are both great, but you're straight? What? What am I? I don't, why? Are, see, I don't understand why people are giving James Charles shit for this. Like, actually, like, are we not going to like it? See, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. I'm even looking at these comments on TikTok. It does seem like James is the is the victim here. If I'm, I'm being completely honest, dude's just trying to slide in some DMs and you're just trying to clown him for what? Honestly, it's just his, like it's his business. But y'all just trying to like act like he's some evil villain just because he's DM sliding. How about we were to expose every single person's DM sliding attempts in history, bro, every single DM slide is not going to be pretty. I have some ugly DM slides, bro. Ranking statistics off body counts. I'm going to be real with you. I just lost my competition with her, lol. If you ca count actual sex, my body count is like four. But I don't even know how many guys I've hooked up with. Bro, Like, so he's, is he trying to compare the two and which one ever one has the higher body count is the one that he's going to go with? oh my god bro what is the internet dude like all these other youtubers are literally just like attacking james charles like relentlessly but it's like did they even bother to look at the context of this stuff and then he tells the guy i guess his name was david to go fuck himself if it it kind of seems like this dude was really just trying to humiliate and play games with james charles and honestly it's kind of sad bro and he's probably exposing him to, again, humiliate him and probably get some type of clout out of it. Like, this is this is actually very, very toxic, bro. Like, I, this is kind of... It's crazy because I thought I was about to come up here and complain about James Charles, but it is the exact opposite. This is... Wow, this dude is kind of scummy for this. I'm not going to lie. I could only imagine if I slid in some girl's DMs and then she just was like, oh, this is Rash Plays. Let me, uh, yeah, right? This, this is how Rash Plays slides in DMs. It makes me look stupid in front of all my, like, bro, nah. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, in conclusion, like, this James Charles drama, I'm gonna be honest with you, don't even, like, this, don't even give this any attention because this is really just not it. It's kind of sad because he's really just taking all these things of james charles out of context you know vanish mode we don't know what the other dude was sending on vanish mode we don't know what the other dude was doing we clearly saw him like james charles messages and he was you know saying oh you're you're both are great and all this other crazy stuff he's sitting here entertaining james charles 
Yeah, he's clearly playing games with the dude. We don't know if he, like, you know, he wanted to go on FaceTime when we don't know what, what this David dude was doing with him, bro. Like, nah, this is, like, really not, no. Before I end this video, though, I just want you guys to kind of, like, understand that homosexuals are human beings, too. Like, they're, they're actual people, too, because I kind of feel like people are kind of in a way, being homophobic towards James Charles kind of attacking him on this because they're not even, like, trying to understand his situation. They're just like, oh, look at this guy being a creep hitting on straight men. And it's like, like, dude, what? He's allowed to talk to anybody he wants to talk to. And whoever he talks to is allowed to react in any way they want to. They can either entertain it. They can either block him. There are just so many scenarios. Like, what if there's a girl that you really want to talk to, right? And you're just like, give me a chance. Give me a chance. Like, that, that's what it's like for gay people, too, when they, they want to talk to somebody. Like, I'd imagine it would be very hard for a gay person to try and get with somebody. Because it's like, most guys are going to be straight. And it's like, if somebody is gay, it's like, are you even attracted to them in the first place? Like, there are just so many factors and stuff like that. Like, people never actually want to think about how rough, like, they got it, you know? Like, these are guys just functioning like girls you know like on an emotional level and all kinds of other stuff keep in mind i'm no expert but that's just how i personally look at it but please just remember that these people are human beings too and they do deserve respect just as much respect as you do but with all that being said i will see you guys in the next video y'all take it easy